SGA finally decided it was time for a change after spending $16,000 a year on newspaper deliveries from USA Today and the New York Times. Um, so we said we can do a better job either with that money, we can save money doing it, but also our environmental footprint on campus. So all of the paper that was delivered onto campus is not helping the environment. So um, we did some negotiations with the, with the uh, contract company um, and we were able to get online versions of USA Today. Uh, we added the Hartford Current, that wasn't actually part of it, um, and then through the university libraries uh, have the New York Times subscription. Students can access all of the daily newspapers from the Hartford.edu website under SGA or newspaper program. So each newspaper has a different way to log in. So um, the USA Today is just a link you press and through the domain name um, or the IP address of the university, you're able to log in. There's no formal login process. Uh, the New York Times, you have to create an account with your Hartford email address um, and that link um, that's included on um, like the UNO article and things like that goes directly to the account creation page. Several staff members on campus helped the members of SGA throughout the process to get the program up and running. A lot of push from administrators um, to get the program up and running, so that's really what attributed to the, the fast turnaround because there's, there's always legal things involved. So we were able to kind of get it up and running for September um, through the help of all of those staff members.